Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here today deeply concerned about the proliferation of AI-generated deepfake images on Twitter. To the creators of these deepfakes, I urge you to use your talents for positive change, not deception. To the public, be vigilant and critical of the media you consume. And to our policymakers, it's time for regulations that protect individuals from such digital violations. We now have the ability to make people look like other people. Like, I could be Johnny, or I could be Nick the studio manager. Look, I'm Nick the studio manager right now. I could also be Tom the music composer. And what's crazy is even if you go back and watch what I just showed you frame by frame, you likely won't be able to tell. Nothing but the truth, so help you God. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! The truth is what our legal system relies on. And right now, it's under attack. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. What is your perception of reality? That is a deep fake. Deep fakes are video, audio, even still images altered using AI and can be utterly impossible to distinguish from the real deal. Problem is, the tech used to create deep fakes is evolving much faster than the tools used to detect them. My face is slowly morphing into something else, and it's basically pixel perfect. Look. It's like amazing. I'm not me. I mean, I am me, but I'm not me to you. And that's kind of nuts. We're about to enter it's, a it scares me. It world. really does. It scares me. An important point here is that it's getting to the point where deep fakes are nearly impossible to decipher as computer generated, which is super exciting, but also kind of scary. It's a real concern. It's a real concern. From the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, DHS says that deep fakes and the misuse of synthetic content pose a clear, present, and evolving threat to the public across national security, law enforcement, financial, and societal domains. The Pentagon is using its big research wing, the one that helped invent internet, that one, to look into deep fakes and how to combat them. Like, they're taking this very seriously. And then of course, deep fakes are being used for good old fashioned cyber crime. Man, cyber crime, it just sounds so quaint. Cyber crime. Like this group of fraudsters who were able to clone the voice of a major bank director and then use it to steal $35 million in cold hard cash. $35 million just by deep faking this guy's voice and like using it to make a phone call to transfer a bunch of money. So from Taylor Swift, Bank of America to the Department of Homeland Security, protecting your company, you individually, as well as your family from deep fakes, which are the most effective form of social engineering is a top priority for continued education and awareness. AI synthetic media deep fakes needs all of our attention. After all, this isn't even me. 